Okay, welcome back, folks. Do you want to visit the Colossus? I know I do. So let's head back to Rhodes. Guys, we're in the second round. I'm going to go on ahead and run my estate again. I'll make two more drachma because of my two special powers. And I'll load up my big boy, my size three ship. Let's push it on in. That pushes everybody up. All right. And so suddenly this wild card is only cost three. Now, what am I putting on my ship? Um, I'll go on ahead and do, 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 and do. So I got to load it up. And also, you know, the order I'm loading up, you know, this stuff costs seven, this stuff costs six. What the heck? Let's go with that. All right. So I've loaded up my, I made my two bucks. I loaded up a super ship and that's three goods I've shipped to Rhodes. So that could be six drachma or three points or some combination between. Let's just go on ahead and just get the uh, drachma. I'll just make six drachma for, and I'll take no victory points right now. All right. So that was my first turn. And now it's Jen's first turn. And if Jen does production, I'll benefit from it as well. Um, unless Jen produces wheat, because I won't get anything from that. So um, on the flip side, Jen doesn't have much money, so I'm not too terribly worried about her buying stuff off of my ship. In fact, Jen hasn't shipped anything yet. I mean, maybe she could run her own estate now, which wouldn't be bad, um, because first of all, she will meet because of this power. Uh, the it's not what's called the wagon. The what's that one called? That one's called the abundance. So Jen's going to activate her estate, and there is abundance. That means she makes one extra buck, and she gets one cube of her choice right now. She'll go on ahead and make it a wheat, and now she'll load up a ship with her wheat and her... And so everything slides up. And thereby making everything deeper again. She's loaded up two things. So she can make four bucks or two points. She wants some cash, so she'll make four. So that was her first turn. And now it's my second turn, and I'm going to the harbor because I got lots of cash, and look at all this cheap stuff. So what am I going to do? I could buy any of these goods. How much money do I have now? 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 drachma. So here's the deal. I think since this is my ship, I mean, Jen would like to buy, you know, yeah, I'm going to pay four plus five, that's nine. And since it's my ship, I'm not paying it to myself, I'm paying it to the bank. So, uh, here's nine of my cash to buy both of these and immediately put them in my warehouse. Now, I won't get this ship back until it makes it all the way up here, and then it will be available for me uh, to, you know, to produce you know, more goods and ship them off to town. Anyway, so that's empty. I can keep buying, though. This gold, these two gold only cost three apiece. I'm going to spend six bucks and buy these two gold as well and put them in my warehouse. Now, you can see your warehouse can only hold up to ten goods, um, but that's fine. I've got four. So I've got one more drachma left over, nothing more I can buy. And remember, when you go to the harbor, there's two things. First, you can buy as many things as you want. And you know, if I'd bought from Jen's boat, I would have been paying her the money, but instead, I was buying from my boats or Egyptian, which means it just went back to the bank. After you're done buying whatever you want, you can complete one contract, and that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go on ahead and use both of these from my warehouse, and I have completed a contract. Hooray! And this gives me four drachma. One, two, and one, two, three points. And these go back. Supply, and hooray, a new one comes out because that is the timer of the game. And so this one requires three cubes. It's five bucks and five victory points. And that was my second action. And now it is Jen's turn to do a second action. So she's now got um, seven. So shoot, which would not quite have been enough to buy those goods, uh, to be fair. So what does she want to do? Um, so she could produce, like I did last time, and if she produces wheat, she'll get a lot of wheat. And if she only produces three wines, she'll get two and I'll get one. <gasps> oh, oh yeah, yeah. So Jen's going to produce. Here we go. So she, uh, this is her last turn, she is going to choose two things. I think for starters, she will say, uh, Demeter, give us a huge bounty of olives. 
The four is the biggest one. So four olives are coming into the simulation. One, two, three, four. So Jen gets one. Then I get one. Thanks, honey pie. And now these other two, Jen gets both of them because she had to skip me because I was full. So Jen's pretty happy with that. And now for the other one, she'll say three, please. And that gets her, since I don't have any wheat fields, that gets her three wheat. So Jen had a very, she gave me one cube and she got six cubes. That was a very good return for her because she's waiting to load up her big gigantic boat with all these goodies. Um, and so that was actually pretty nice for her. Alrighty, so that was the end of that. And um, no ships have made it up to the harbor. So here we are with this. I've still got two gold in my warehouse. And all right, so... <clears throat> Once again, Jen is the last, so she has to choose. Does she want to be first next turn? And I think she would like to be because this wild card good that could go into her warehouse is super cheap. And this gold. Oh, wait, oh, wait, oh, wait, oh, wait, oh, wait, though. The other thing that happens at the end of the round before, um, there's only one gold in the market. So the Egyptian ships, or this one, will push on up. And bring in some wheat and some gold. And so now there's at least two gold in the queue. All right, and ah, this wild card has made it past the end. Since this was Egyptian, it just comes out, so nobody gets a chance to buy that. Um, but hey, there's one gold that's only three. And so, you know, I mean, and right, and, and so I don't get my ship back for a while. Jen's stuff is getting cheaper. My stuff is getting cheaper. Over here, we, to complete this or this, we need goat's milk. Nobody can produce goat's milk right now, um, which is certainly an interesting conundrum uh, because nobody's made that yet. Uh, da, 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 da. And, you know, although, again, these wild cards, you, when you take them, they could be anything. But, um, right. So, anyway, so the Egyptian ship and now we reveal a new Egyptian ship so we can see in the future more gold and another wild card is coming from Egypt um, when we need to fill more gold up and so now it's Jen's turn again she can't stay at this line she can go up which will give her good she can come all the way up here she doesn't have to pay money she would like to get that gold she doesn't want me to monopolize all the gold so she's a bit nervous about that so I think she wants to go a little bit higher on turn order and hopefully get to go first before, because if I go first, she figures, oh, by the way, we get our workers back, of course. S and we reset these as well. And she wants to buy that gold. Does she want to pay a buck? Because if she's confident, there's no way I'm paying three bucks to get a discount on that gold. But is she confident if she goes up here? Yeah, I think that's it. So she's hoping she'll be first, because how much money does she have? Yeah, she's got, yeah, okay. She's got, what was it? Uh, seven bucks. That's enough to buy the gold. Actually, that's kind of unfortunate. With only seven, she'll be able to buy the gold. And, oh, and she could buy this. Although she'd be giving me the money because it's off my ship. But this costs four. So she could buy two things. Um, and unfortunately, those things would not be stuff that would let her complete. But it's just, she, want, she does not want me to monopolize all that gold. So, so she's chosen that. Now, if I want to go first and get that gold, i got to pay for it. Or I can say, to heck with it. I'll just come all the way down here to the bottom. I'll take, yeah, I'll take that. All right, so, um, and I get one good of my choice and one more drachma. And the good of my choice, I think, will be some wine. There we go. All right, so we're on to the next round. Jen is, in fact, first. And she paid, so she'll come here. And th uh, three of her money will be to buy this Egyptian gold. And now she could stop, but she feels kind of bad spending a whole action just to buy one thing. So even though she doesn't like it, she will spend four, her remaining money, and buy my olives. So she gives that money to me. Uh, but, you know, that's, olives are needed for both of these. And so there's wheat that's on its way. So, I mean, this contract could be completed. So Jen's got the olives. Now she just needs the wheat to complete this contract, which is worth four uh, drachma and three victory points. So that was Jen's first turn. I'm like, okay, thanks for the cash. You know, now that I'm so flush with cash, I think I should go to the town hall and start to expand my estate. And you know what I think I'll do? I will expand my estate. How much will I pay? I will pay 14. Do I have enough? I've got, with this money, I might. So here's six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, I only have 10. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10. I'll spend all of it. 
Hmm, no, actually, I w but I don't want to. All right, so I'm going to kind of do agenda in the first turn. My first action, I'm going to come here to the market. I'm going to sell two goods to make 10, just so I, I, I can have a more fruitful trip to the town hall. So that was it. Now it's Jen's second turn. She needs some more cash. So she's going to run her um, estate, which means she will get one good of her choice. All her land is full, so she'll take uh, an extra wine. She makes one drachma, thanks to her abundance. And now she'll load up her big super ship, which means that everything else pushes up. And th this Egyptian ship, this Egyptian ship, they are out. Mine has almost come back to me as well, but not quite. And what is she loading that ship up with? She will load it up with... We, what, what the heck, with one of everything? Oh, yeah, why not? Okay, there we go. Yeah, okay. So she, uh, right, and so that could be six drachmas she just made there. Let's go on ahead and do that. Five and six. So that was her second action. And now for my second action, I'm going to come over here to Town Hall. As I was originally thinking about, and I've gotten flush with cash, I'm going to buy... So how much money do I have? I've got 10, 12, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. 18, that's not enough to buy two things. Shoot! Because the cheapest bit of land... Uh, I need a little bit more cash. Arg. If I had one more, I could buy a cheapest bit of land, which costs 10, and I could buy one of these special powers that only costs 9. With 18, though, I can't buy land but I could buy two special powers that cost nine. So I could get a uh, barn so I can store more stuff and I could get the same abundance that Jen has as an example. Shoot, shoot, shoot. How did I miscount that? Let me double check. 10, 12, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Darn it. Uh, all right. Okay, I won't go to town hall. I'll just, uh, I'll go on ahead and do some production. Righty. So I get some more stuff. No, 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 no. I'll just go on. I've got stuff. I'm just going to go on ahead and run my estate because that makes me the extra two that I need. And I'm going to load a boat up. I've got my double sized boat here. Let's go on ahead and shove it up. And let's put some. Uh, let's load her up. There we go. That's two goods. I can make two more bucks or some victory points. I'll make two more. And what the heck? Let's get a victory point. Yeah. And by the way, that pushed up. This ship is now available to me again. Now, if there had been, if there were any cubes still on this ship at this point, they would go for free into my warehouse and be ready for me to complete contracts. But it already was bought out. And now, um, my this ship though is about to make it. In which case, I'll get all this wine for free. I mean, I will have made money by shipping it. And then when it gets into my warehouse, although you know Jen might buy it off my ship, because we'll see what happens next round. Anyway, so that was my second. I basically ran my estate, and that was it. So hey, I'm the last player. I got to choose what order we're going to go in. <laughs> I will. Go on ahead. Now, one thing I remember, I can't stay on this row. So I'll just come. I'm, I don't mind going last. I'll just come here and make two drachma. Only, oh, before I do this, though, there's only one gold. So Egypt is going to send some more stuff in. Boopity boop. All righty. There we go. And which is another wild and some more gold. So there's two gold in the supply now. And hey, I was just talking about it. One of my cubes crossed the line and is now sitting in my warehouse. But the other one still hasn't. So it's got a little bit more to go before I get that thing delivered. And right now it only costs two. So anyway, so Egypt sent some stuff. And we can see next round they're sending some wine and some gold. If this gold gets bought. Alrighty. And all right, so with that in mind, I think I'll still just take the two bucks. Did I already take these two bucks? I think I already did. I think I did take the two bucks for choosing that. Which means Jen, she can get one good or one buck if she wants to stay first. And I think she does because all these goods are so cheap now. So Jen will just uh, come slightly before me, take one good, and she'll just go on ahead and get some wine into her land. There we go. And Jen is the first player going into the next round. So what is Jen going to do with her two workers? 
Let's get all our workers back. Forgot to do that. All right. Um, Jen's got the cash. I think she's coming to the harbor. And I think she's going to complete a... Um, got, she, we don't need any gold right now. But like I said, later on, contracts will require gold. So she's saving that gold for later. She's got a green. If she just has a yellow, she can complete that. Or she has a red and a white. But there is no red or white or browns to buy. Nobody's making uh, any uh, goats yet. Although, you know, she could pay seven bucks to get this and treat it as a white. But no, no, no. I think, so Jen's coming here. And the first thing she's going to do is she is going to pay two bucks to herself. She's going to buy, she, which basically, you know, she's buying it off her own ship. It's like she's paying extra for speedy delivery to get this, to not have to wait for it to get all the way into a warehouse. She's paying two bucks to get it into the warehouse quicker. And so now she's got what she needs. But she's got five more. She could buy other stuff as well. So what the heck? She will pay two of it. I got five. To me, to buy my red. So, I mean, because she needs that red for these jobs. And she's got three more. So she could go on ahead and buy this, uh, you know, pay to, for express delivery of her own stuff. That's pretty cool. So she'll pay that. And... So both of these ships are empty, although mine won't come back to me for a bit. Jen's won't come back to her for a bit. Ah, if she had a little bit more, she might have wanted to buy that gold, but that's okay. So she's bought as much as she wanted, or as much as she could afford in this case, and now she can complete one contract, which will be this one, which gives her three points, one, two, three, and four drachmas. She has just completed a contract as well. All righty, boom. And so it is now, and why is this green here? I must have. Got knocked around at some point. And so now it is my turn. There's one more opportunity to go to the harbor. I got a lot of cash. But remember, I was just saving up money. Finally, it took me a while. I'm going to the town hall, and I'm going to upgrade my estate like Jen did. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to be a goat herder. And I could go for the 10, but all that means is um, when we generate goats, we just generate goats. I want to keep on... I'm going to be a rich person. That costs 14 because it makes money. Or I could pay 17, and it scores victory points. So that's 14 for that land. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Now, how much more do I have? Hopefully I have enough. Here's 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yes. All righty. So I bought the nice goat, and it doesn't come with any, unfortunately. And I've got 10 more. I'm going to spend everything else. A lot of it here. And... What can I buy? Hmm. Let's see. I, I, that abundance thing that Jen has is nice. The... So this one, uh, the water wheel, means whenever you do production, something immediately, if I recall correctly, oh, is it? It's irrigation. Receive one extra unit. Um, of the product which you own. Oh yeah, okay, so this one is, whenever somebody does production, it, if whatever gets produced, you get one extra of that good for doing production. So that's pretty cool if I want to be a producer, if I want to store more space. I think I'm gonna take this wagon though, because this means whenever I run my, when, when, when I do production, I'll get a bunch of cubes. Um, when I run my estate, I'll make money, and I can instantly transport one of my cubes to my warehouse, skipping this whole process. Um, which means, if I'm producing these goats, these goats can go right to my warehouse, which means Jen will never get a chance to buy them off of my boat. Yeah! So, I'm gonna buy that. Um, and that, oh, that only cost me nine as well. So I do get one buck back. I thought I was going to pay 10 for one of the more expensive ones. So that was my turn. I have upgraded my estate to rival Jen's. And now it is her second turn. This turn. Oh, uh, by the way, the first level two contract came out, which as you can see, requires gold and gives you six and is worth eight points. And it's still, so all the contracts now require goat milk. Hmm. Okay. Jen has four bucks. What is she going to do? Uh, would now be a good time to do production? I think it might, because she can bet I'm going to want to do production and produce a whole bunch of goats since I'm the only one who gets it. So I think she'll do it first to take up the best units. So now what's going to be the best production for her? Um, I think she will do one... Well, no, if she does... I was going to say, if she does one olive, she'll fill up and she won't give me any. But, 
Right. But here's the thing. If, she, if I do production, she doesn't want to leave the three or the four because then, uh, she'll, uh, then, then I'll end up getting a full complement of goat milk. But, you know, there's no help in it. I mean, so, yeah, she can't do that. But still, she does need to produce some stuff. And she just wants to do it in such a way that I don't benefit. So, I think, yeah, she'll do one for wheat because that will fill up her. No, no, no. She will do one. If she does... Well, see, both of our vineyards are completely empty. So if she does three, she'll get two and I'll get one. Uh, which she's not crazy about, but heck, she'll be full up. And, yeah, actually now's not that great a time to produce because she's got so much. So maybe she won't. Maybe she won't. I think instead she will just go on ahead and run her... Yeah, that's what she's going to do. She's going to run her estate. Okay, so first of all, she gets um, some abundance. She gets one cube of her choice. But again, it has to be something she already produced. And then she's going to load up a boat. Boopity boopity boop. Which, by the way, gives me my boat back. And her boat is almost back. Um, so what does she want to put on this boat? Let's go on ahead and just put some of that and some of that. And so that gives her two points. Four drachmas or some combination. She'll just take the four drachmas. All right. And so, uh, oh, plus one extra drachma because of her abundance. So uh, that was her. So I, I'm in keeping track, have I? All right. So that was her first and her second turn. And now it's my second turn. And, right. I want to run my, now that I've got my new super place, I want to run it. And the nice thing, you know, so Jen cleared her stuff out. If I try to do production, we'll both benefit. If Jen hadn't cleared her stuff out and then I'd done production, she probably wouldn't have got anything because she was already full. So am I just going to run my... No, because I need these goats. So I am going to do production, and I'm going to do two things. It's going to be a triple on goats, which means I get all the goats. And um, what else? See, I don't, I don't want Jen to get anything. But there's no avoiding it. So, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to be a bit petty. I'm going to say, God, Demeter, don't send us much. Just send us a single olive. So only a single comes out, and Jen gets none of that. I could have done a triple, so I'd get two, and Jen would get one. But I'll just stick with that. All right. So that was my business, and now I've got goats. And I'm going to activate this, which is um, one of my cubes skips the whole shipping process because I send it by wagon to my warehouse. So now I've got a white and a red. And now if I just get a green into my warehouse, I've got the gold, I can complete this. And I could buy that green right off of Jen's boat. Or I could pay a little bit more and buy it off my own boat. Um, although, I got no money. So that's a problem. But heck, I've got these other goods that I can send to the market to make the money so I could buy these off the boat so I could be the first to complete this. Um, right. So that was my second turn. So at the end of the round, there's two gold. So the Egyptians don't send anything more, and um, all these reset. We get our workers back, and I choose whether I'm going first or not. Let's see here. Where's the other worker? Oh, there they are. Right. So I choose whether... So I could come down here just to get some more goods, or, heck, I mean, I could pay three bucks to be first if I really want it. There's some gold there sitting there, super-duper cheap. Although, again, I don't have the money for it. And Jen... I can see Jen does. So I bet you the first thing Jen's going to do next turn is go to the harbor and buy this gold and probably buy some more cheap goods and get them into her warehouse. So that's a problem. Um, so with that in mind, I don't think I can get to that first. So I don't think I particularly want to go first. So what the heck? I'll just be dead last, which gives me one more drachma and one more good of my choice. Some more goats, please. There we go. Um, and... Right, and so Jen, she might as well, what the heck, she'll just go right above me and take two. And so Jen is the first going into the next round, and as predicted, you better believe it, she's going to the harbor again, where she will spend three to buy that sweet, sweet Egyptian gold, and goes into her warehouse. And again, no goats. This costs six. Oh, it's expensive, but if she wants to, she will do it. She will spend six. She almost bankrupts herself to get this. And now, she can choose to be whatever she wants. She says, that was milk, baby. And so, look at that! I think Jen will be the first to complete this thing instead of me, because she paid through the nose for it, and boom. She just completed this. That gave her six drachmas back, and eight! 
Victory points. Boom. Yowza. Yowza yow. Okay. And by the way, so now the gold's gone, the Egyptians are going to push more stuff in. And all my plans, although, you know what? Still need a little goat's milk for a lot of stuff. I'm still the king of goat in ancient, um, in ancient Greece, in ancient Rhodes. Right. Let's see here. And, and there's still this thing that nobody's done yet. Right. Anyway, so that was Jen's first turn. Now it's my turn. I need some cash to, or not. I mean, heck, I can do other stuff. I could make cash in the market, or I could just start producing some stuff. I think I just want to run my own because that'll make me three. I have a very productive estate. Three bucks. And um, let's see. So I'm going to load up some boats. I'll load my trip up again. So that means everything slides up quite a bit. And hey, look at this. Um, this Egyptian grain, nobody bought it. It's gone. Jen gets her ship back. This Egyptian ship comes back. Okay. And I'm going to fill that up with all my non-goat stuff because I don't want Jen having any of my goat business. Well, I guess I could put one on there. She's not going to pay seven bucks to buy it. Is she? Is she? Is she? Do I, do I, do I take a chance? Put one on there? Maybe. Let's, let's give it a try. And now, because I've shipped three things, that's six bucks. I need that money, folks, so I can buy some of this cheaper stuff. Although maybe not. You know what I think? I think I'll take three bucks and one, two, three points. All righty. Is that right? No, 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 no. One, two, three. Um, three bucks. No, you can't split it up that way. I'll take, I could take two bucks and take two points, putting a three thing on. Or I can take four bucks. I'll take four bucks. And one point. So I just start pushing up a little bit. So I've loaded up my ship, and so now I've got some cash. So now I can go to the harbor and buy some of this cheap business, um, you know, including that green of gens, which is what's needed for this, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So that was my turn. I have run. Oh, but let's not forget when I run my estate, I also forgot to fire up that wagon and get some more goat's milk directly in there and make another buck by running my wagon. So I'm really set up to do all these things. Jen, she has to pay through the nose. And you know what? If she pays seven bucks to get my goat's milk, I don't mind because I'll happily take that money and put it right into more upgrades for my estate. So that's pretty cool. So that was my first turn and then her turn and so on. Like I said, we keep going until we make it all the way through. The uh, contracts get bigger and bigger. Then when we get into the level threes and oh, by the way, uh, in the first printing, there was a typo. This was supposed to be a yellow cube, not a, oh, what is it? It's not a red cube. It's a yellow cube, just so you know. Um, so I just fixed that with a little bit of a post-it note. So, but you can see, I mean, uh, gold, you start requiring doubles of things, two uh, olives or two wine or two gold to do these final contracts. And you keep doing that while at the same time, you know, I mean, the other thing too, I haven't even touched on it yet. You could be... Um, just shipping goods like crazy, you know, making money and shipping goods to uh, make more money to turn that money directly into victory points by contributing to the temple. Um, you could drop all these things, let other players focus on this, and you could instead focus on building a strong money-making estate and pump that money into the temple, or you could make a strong where your estate just generates victory points by having multiples. Like if I get a barn... And, um, you know, let's say if I had a barn and I have this in my estate, this means I get a victory point for every two goat's milk. So if I fill this up plus a goat milk here, that means every time I run my estate, I'm making two points off of it. Plus, say, maybe another point off of this. Plus the money that I can convert into points at the temple. So you can go the main route of, you know, fulfilling contracts and buying stuff from the harbor, or hopefully nobody buys it so you can just get it into your warehouse for free, or you have other routes for how to earn victory points in Rhodes. And that's it, folks. That was just a quick run through of the game, and now if you want to hear some final thoughts, you can hit that eye in the top right corner screen, or follow the show notes in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1.